Hi, welcome back to Festival TV. I'm here with Mara McConnell, who's the chair of the Banner Committee. We're standing outside the festival offices on a somewhat gloomy day. Mara, tell me a little bit about the Banner process. The Banner is now 44 years old, the Banner um, competition, and it's such a neat part of the festival because anybody can become part of the festival then, which is so neat. And I actually started in the Banner competition Oh, I think it's like eight years ago now, and I did it with a mom's group that I was in, and we um, submitted two years in a row. So that's kind of how I got started. So anybody in the community, and that's what's so great about it, anybody in the community can be part of the Arts Festival. And there's three categories. There's a professional category for professional textile artists, so they can um, be part of the um, festival without actually having a booth. And then there's the general um, category, which would be anybody, anybody in the community who you know, dabbles in art and wants to do it as a group. You can enter as a group or you can do it as an individual. And then there's a youth category, which is so neat because that means the youth of the community, and, and in addition to Children's Day, has have a place to um, you know, be part of the festival. It's a great community experience. Um, and how many banners do uh, does the festival usually get each year? I would say maybe a dozen. Okay. Um, so over the course of 44 years, we definitely have a lot of banners. The entries each year get hung right there um, on the corner of um, Allen Street in College Avenue, so they're the first, like in the procession down the um, sidewalk sale. So they're always displayed there, but then throughout the whole sidewalk sale, the um, banners hang almost like a canopy. It's, it gives motion to the um, arts festival as well as color. It's a beautiful canopy above the head. Well, Mara, thank you so much for your time. I love being part of it. So. Thanks.